Kings Bay. The saga of the great Hudson's Bay Fur Company. And of the brave men who traveled the untrekked wilderness from Labrador to California, from Minnesota to Alaska. Starring Barry Nelson as Jonathan Banner, Hudson's Bay Man. With George Tobias as Pierre Falcone. out in the open is the full weight of justice and its meaning. It's been so in all ages, and it was so in the Northwest Country, Hudson's Bay, 1825. When it involves your best friend, it can get pretty complicated, but hit pretty close to home. The snow will fly early. You say that every year. And every year I am right. Well, the year before last, the snow didn't come until late October. No, I that was the year I said it would come late, and you said it would come early. Now, oh, isn't that stretching it a bit? The year before last we're talking about, we? Oui? Oui, monsieur. Now, that was the year of the big fur catch, and you and I went to the Yukon, we? Oui? Yes, and the snow didn't come until late October. Yes, we. Oui. And I said it would be so. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Monsieur. <laughs> The snows came late. We agree. Now the question is, who said it? You or I? Is that not so? C'est possible. Here, take my horse. I said, take my horse, rub him down and treat him. And treat him, gentle. He is in the common room, Johnny. Yeah. I'm going inside to get a better look at him. I want to be sure. Sure what? Well, wait a minute. Do not try to stop me, Johnny. I just want to know what this is all about. I will tell you inside when I am sure. All right, all right. I want you to do one thing for me. What is that, monsieur? Don't do anything until you think about it first. I will think, monsieur. But it may not take me very long. him in the world. But how could it be? How could it be? Jingo Marami is dead. For three seasons, Jingo Marami and Pierre Falcon were partners. Partners, monsieur. Trapping the main lines from the Great Rockies to the Twin Rivers. We shared everything. The good times when the meat and game was plentiful. 
and the dragon with liquor at rendezvous when we traded our furs for supplies. And the bad times, the terrible times. Johnny, that you know about. That all trappers know about. It is then that you and your partner become one. When you fight against the hard times, it is a cry, not of one man, but two. You and your army. And together you know that you will survive, because you are partners. but already a full braid. He had been driven out of his village for some reason. Now well, he or his father would never tell us. The younger brother left with him voluntarily. Yeah? Give him some coffee. Can I help us, huh? Yeah. We'll show you where to catch buffalo. You can show us right where? Up on the high mountains. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big hook. And a lot of them? You hear that? <laughs> had been spent in the big country, monsieur. But Tata and Marco, what they did not know about Beaver Street. They had been outcasts. None of their people would have anything to do with them. When we agreed to let them make meat with us, they showed their thanks by teaching Jingo and myself more about trapping than we had ever known. And now, there were four of us. Four partners.
that's what happened with my partner. Where are you going? Stay out of this, Johnny. What do you think you're going to do? I'm going to kill him. Oh, no. Johnny, stay out of this. Oh, no. no. Right. Take a look at him. You see how he's dressed? I don't know what he was when you knew him, but he's a gunfighter now. You haven't got a chance. You're just a trapper. I don't care what he is now. I'm got to kill him. I'm not going to let you do it. <laughs> I don't know you. You are Jingo Marime? I don't know who you are, mister, but I thank you and I'd like to buy you a drink. You better get out of here, mister. What's the matter with you and him? I've never seen either one of you before in my life. He says different. Who are you, partners or something? Yeah. He's my partner. Well, if he comes towards me again, I'm going to kill him. Oh, look, mister. When he wakes up, there's going to be one thing in his mind, you. If I were you, I'd get out of here as fast as I could. And if this animal comes towards me, I'm going to kill him. If you get past him, you're going to have to get past me afterwards. Another time, Johnny. Another time. Why did you stop me? Because he doesn't know you. Never saw you before. You couldn't you be mistaken? Could you ever mistake me, Johnny? Even after 50 years and my hair is all white? Eh, hey, Johnny? That's ah, no good. It's your word against his. Now, if it's the wrong man, you know what could happen to you? It is true I have been known to make mistakes in my life. But this is not one of them. He was as cold as a Yukon blizzard. He looked at you like you were a cold piece of meat. Now, if you were as close as you say you were, how could a thing like this happen? Ah, that is the thing, Monsieur. You are not talking about the Jonathan Banner or the Pia Falcon. You are talking about the scavenger. All right, all right, but you don't have any proof. Maybe he had a reason. He denied knowing me. That is proof. And did he search me out? If there was a reason, no. He just ran. Pierre Falcon is not easy to hide, monsieur. He could have found me if he wanted to. If you do it your way, what does it make you? Could I live with myself and the memory of those two Indian brothers if I didn't? Maybe he'll kill you. I just as soon. All right. Then there's one thing I want you to do for me first. Anything. But at another time, Johnny. No. It's gotta be now. You will not try to stop me, John. I won't try to stop you.
He may run away. He will run. I try to scare him. He doesn't scare. You are a good friend, Johnny. What do you want of me? I just want you to sit back and talk. Talk? Mm hmm. For an hour. About anything except this. Now, if at the end of that time you still want to go, I won't try to stop you. No. We will talk, mon ami. Well, uh, what shall we talk about? Say, uh, well, there's all, I mean, you could, uh... There's children who used to run through the fields of their own valley and ride the farmer's horses. Make them very angry. Oh, Johnny. Those days, wonderful memories. We lived with the Mandan Indians for the rest of the season. I grew fat, fat as a pig, from eating all day without stopping. And inside of the teepee it was warm, and the fur was soft to the touch for sleeping. What time is it? It's about that time, I guess. Here, I, uh... I gave you the requested hour, Johnny. Yes, I know. I haven't got the right to ask anything, but, uh... But you will ask anyway. He says he doesn't know yet. I, I just want you to be sure that it's... Jingo? I am sure. Prove it. The man I knew was bitten by a rattlesnake right here on the wrist. I cut the wound and drew the poison myself. Jingo Maramay has such a scar. That'd be proof. Tough characters that you know. Watch yourself. right away, but he said I should sit and talk for an hour about everything and anything under the sun. Except you. Ah, oh, this Solomon. This wise man. Also said that I should be sure that you were the man who left me and the two others who were your partners to die. I told him, I said, Johnny, I am not wrong. This man in the common room is Jingo Marame, my old partner. There is a way, Johnny, I said, to find out if I have the right man, the real Jingo Marame. I saved his life once, I said to Solomon, the wise man. Jingo Marame? was bitten by a rattler on the wrist. Now, I said, the real Jingo Marame would have a scar on his left wrist. If you are not Jingo Marame, mister, there will be no scar. Well, mister? Jingo 
Domingo Marame. Hello, Pierre. How have you been? I'm going to kill you, Jingo. Have a drink first. Banner, you get your friend out of here before he gets killed. Talks to me like that. I kind of like it here. You better pick up your friend and get him out of here. Unless you want to join him. Johnny, that he was once my partner. did not kill Gino. You know why, monsieur? No. Then I would be no better than him. We are good partners, eh, Johnny? We. Oui. You know, I think the snow's gonna fall early this year. <laughs> you said that last year. 